Okay, uh, a charge capacitor of capacitance 3 microfarad is connected to a resistor of resistance 10 ex, uh, you know, uh, exponent 6 ohm. Okay, find the fraction of energy stored in the capacitor after 1 second. Okay, so if you look here, you uh, do you know this is about charging and discharging process? Ah, uh, you should actually figure out this is a charging or discharging process. Ah, uh, because why he say is a charge capacitor connected to a resistor. Okay, so you see here, once a charge capacitor connect to a resistor, this capacitor will start to discharge. So this is a discharging process. Ah, uh, you see that, and some more. This question doesn't mention there's uh, there's no there's no battery mentioned here. Okay. So here you can see uh, uh, no battery is mentioned. No battery. And then one more thing is he say this is a charge capacitor. So a charge capacitor that means this initially is already initially is fully charged. Initially already fully charged. So uh, after connect to the resistor. Is not uh, charging some more, yeah. Uh, it's not connected to battery. It's connected to resistor. It's connected to a resistor. Uh, so, uh, this surely initially fully charged capacitor. Once connect to resistor, it will start to discharge. Uh, so this is a. We can say this is a discharging process ah so this is the first thing you must know is this charging or discharging process yeah uh, how do you know is discharging process because he didn't he say this charge capacitor is not it's not charged to it's not connected to battery but it's connected to resistor only ah, it connected to resistor only ah, so surely this is about discharging process okay there's no battery mentioned here. Okay, initially it's fully charged. So initially it already has it already has Q not. Uh, initially already has Q not. Okay, maximum initially already has maximum charge already. Okay. Uh, and then this three microfarad is the capacitance. Uh, capacitance C. Uh, this resistor. This is the resistor. Uh, exponent six ohm. Okay, put it over here only resistor so this is the discharging process okay because a fully charged capacitor connect to a resistor so only the discharging process happen okay uh, all right so what's a fraction okay I want the fraction huh? uh, here the keyword is fraction uh, fraction what is mean what does it mean by fraction fraction means okay fraction of energy store energy store is U lah and this is the time taken okay we want to find fraction fraction means uh like uh in malay we say pecahan ah uh, pecahan uh. Uh, in malay malay we call it pecahan so uh what kind of fraction we want to find what kind of fraction we want to find uh, of course uh this one is surely this fraction we what what is a fraction of energy stored in the uh, capacitor after one second so what i can say is uh of course is energy stored uh, at one second okay divided by uh, this is the fraction we want to find this is what the fraction we want to find the energy stored uh, energy remaining i can say energy uh, re, uh at times one second remaining uh energy remaining energy uh, remaining in the capacitor at one second or say after one second okay divided by energy due energy maximum uh, means energy at zero second uh which is which is the maximum uh wh wh which is the the maximum energy uh, because initially it's fully charged Initially, it's fully charged. Uh, so initially, at zero second, it has the maximum energy. Uh, and maybe my writing is not too good. Uh, so uh, okay, write that bet, uh, better. Yeah, I write it. 
uh, more careful remaining and this is the maximum initially it has the maximum energy uh, okay uh, we want to find this fraction understand or not uh, okay so I can say that this is actually equal to energy at one second over the maximum energy initially uh, initially fully charged it also has the uh, it also has the maximum energy uh, yeah initial it also has the maximum energy initially uh, okay uh, initially also has the maximum energy it initially has maximum energy maximum charge okay uh, all right uh, so how to do this how to do this so this is a discharging process uh, okay first of all let's look at what's the formula for energy store formula for energy store we can use half qv we can also use half cv square you can also use half q square over c uh, which formula going to use Ah, of course, we use the formula with uh, capacitance uh, because capacitance is already provided, right? Capacitance provided. So don't use a half QV. Half QV don't have the capacitance, right? Uh, don't use that. Don't use this one. Uh, use either half CV square or half Q square over C. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, what I can say is um, um. Which one easier? Yeah, we use half CV square or half Q square over C. Uh, so uh, let's look. Um, okay, what I can say is we can use either one. Ah, uh, either one. Okay, we can. Uh, this is a discharging process. Uh, this, charging pro uh, this charging process, we're going to use formula under discharging. Uh, we can use uh, either charge or voltage. You see that? Uh, or current. Uh, I can say, um, okay, I want to write it down first. Uh, for this charging process, uh, all decrease. Uh, the charge, the voltage, the current, all decrease. Uh, all decrease. And we before the the example before we already learned that uh, this one about this. I want to write it down over here. Uh, I, I already learn about this, isn't it? Ah, uh, okay. I want to write uh, this one is important. Ah, uh, so if uh, increase we use the formula one minus exponent. If decrease we use the formula exponent. So all these are uh, charge voltage current or decrease or decrease that means all the formula is exponent okay all the formula is exponent so um uh, for energy the formula for energy is uh and hey wait wait uh this one i write wrongly this one should be energy yeah i'm so sorry uh yeah this one is energy uh so so sorry uh it's all is energy uh, energy store yeah, just wrong symbol. Okay, just now. Okay, so to get this energy stored, uh, we can either use half CV square or half Q square over C. Why we use the one with C? Because we have the value of C. Uh, we already have the value of C, 3 microfarad already. So we can, we better use the formula with C. Don't use a half QV. Now, do we use half CV square or half Q square over C? What I can say is either one, can, uh, can use you know why because we can either use a uh, formula for uh, charge or voltage uh, understand uh, both also decrease okay uh, both also decrease so you want to uh, you want to use uh, you know uh, you know the, uh, this is about discharging process discharging process uh, the charge and voltage decreasing the charge and voltage decreasing uh, so uh, we can uh, the formula will be you know the formula will be uh, okay this one put q naught first this one also put v naught okay so the rest is what formula okay for decrease charge and voltage both decrease 
So decrease use exponent, uh, use exponent, okay, use exponent, decrease use exponent, okay, decrease, decrease use exponent, okay, and then the rest is uh, negative t over rc, uh, negative t over rc the same, okay, so you can see uh, same formula, okay, uh, I can say, um, uh, you want to use the Q, you want to use this formula, if you use this, the first formula, Q decrease, uh, then you are going to use half Q squared over C. If you use the voltage decrease, you are going to use this formula, half CV square. Okay, so depend on which one you want to use, I say either one also can. Uh, this one, either, either one also can for discharging process understand i don't also can so right now uh, i oh i normally i stay with charge uh, normally i'm more comfortable with charge decrease so i just pick uh, the first formula this one uh, and also half q squared over c for this one yeah uh, but you can go the second formula also yeah also correct understand also correct you can use this formula and then you use half cv square and then you put this half cv square into here also can get the final answer you will get the same answer understand you will get the same answer right now i just choose one i just choose the charge uh, and then i you choose half q square over c and then later i substitute half q square over c over here uh, well I, I i try to find the answer okay so right now i use this formula first okay now i use the first formula Okay, uh, I use the first formula. So Q equal to uh, Q naught uh, exponent negative T over RC. Okay, so uh, okay, do I have um, okay, I have the time, I have the resistance, I have the capacitance. So T over RC is okay. Q naught, I don't have, never mind. Uh, I don't have it, never mind. So okay, so Q, uh, just put just put in all the Q not I don't have, isn't it? I don't have the initial charge. Never mind, just leave it first, huh? Just leave it first. And then exponent negative t. What is a t? One second over R C. What is the R? R is a uh, exponent six ohm. Uh, exponent six ohm. Exponent exponent six ohm. And then uh, C is a uh, 3 microfarad, 3 micro, 3 micro, micro, negative 6, isn't it? Uh, uh, micro is negative 6, okay. So, uh, get me the answer. So, um, this uh, uh, exponent 6, uh, exponent negative 6 can be cancelled, isn't it? Uh, can be cancelled. So, it just leave with... Uh, I just have um, uh, Q naught, uh, Q naught exponent at negative uh, one over three. Okay, so this is equal. I find the value lah. I find the value. So x uh, epsilon exponent negative uh, one over three. Yeah, one over three. So what's the answer? Uh, this is uh, zero point seven. 16 0 0.1715 q not ah okay so i got the remaining charge this is the remaining charge that means um that means um what i can say is uh, after after one second so when uh, when uh, when time equal to one second after one second the the Q is actually just left with uh, seventy one point six five percent of Q naught. Uh, the you know after one second, uh, the remaining charge is uh, seventy five point six five seventy uh, one point six five percent. That means the the capacitor is left with seventy one point six five percent charge only. Uh, it is after one second, it's left with only around seventy percent charge. Ah, okay. So, okay, I got the Q already. Uh, now I want to... Um, ah, so I can put in the formula over here. Okay, I can put in the formula over here. So, how I'm going to do this, yeah? 
I'm going to do this. So, okay, let's find out the formula. Yeah, the fraction. Uh, let's find out about the fraction. Do we have to find out? Okay, never mind. I think I do step by step first. Uh, do I have to do step by step? Uh, yeah, I do. Better I do step by step first. Huh? So, okay, u after one second is the u after one second is I use a formula half q square over c. Yeah, I use a formula half q square over c. Uh, half q square over c, which is a uh, half. Okay. Uh, q square over c q square over c so which is this formula yeah uh, this formula so it is uh, q square so it's 0 point uh, you know the q this is uh, after one second uh, this after one second uh, this uh, 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 you know uh, this is uh, the charge after one second. So, um, uh, charge after one second is this one, 0 0.71, uh, 65, uh, 0 0.7165 Q naught uh, square over uh, C. What is the value of C? Uh, what is the value of C? Uh, C is uh, ah, 3 microfarad. Uh, 3 microfarad. I think the value of C... Uh, I don't the, the C is constant, isn't it? Before and after. I just put it as C first, huh? I don't need <laughs> actually I don't think I need to substitute the value of C because the C is constant. Uh yeah, the C is a is a constant value before and after. Uh C is always constant, so I don't think no need to substitute the value. I even I substitute the value also I cannot find the value of energy stored because this Q naught is unknown, isn't it? Uh, so this C is constant. I mean, before before discharging and after discharging. Oh, hold, on, hold on a second. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, before before discharging and after discharging, the C is always constant because the capacitor we still use the same capacitor. We don't change the capacitor. Uh, so the capacitance is still constant. So I don't need to substitute the value of C. You understand? I, I, I put it like that first. Yeah? I remain it first. Yeah? So okay, now I straight away find a fraction. Okay, I, can, I think I can straight away find a fraction. So alright, let's find out the fraction. So the fraction is, uh, you know, energy at one second over energy stored at uh, zero second okay this is the maximum energy okay uh all right so energy at one second is a uh, half oh no 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 i already got the i already got i don't need to uh substitute value um that means energy store just i got this one isn't it ah i just put in i just put in over here ah i just put in this one okay uh okay i copy and paste it over here ah and then ah just put it blue color <laughs> okay i'm clever isn't it <laughs> okay so and then this half uh you know energy stored maximum is half q squared over c lah. half q but this is maximum charge initially is maximum charge uh, over c also because it's still the same capacitor still the same capacitor uh yeah this uh this is uh, at maximum ma uh, ma at zero second this one is at when zero second okay at zero second it has the maximum energy maximum energy and maximum charge understand at zero second uh, initially uh, initially means at zero second uh, okay uh, at zero second uh, uh, so uh, at zero second, it has maximum charge, maximum energy. You understand? Uh, at zero second, it has maximum charge, maximum energy. Okay. So I think I can find my fraction already because many things can be cancelled, right? Many things can be cancelled. Half can be cancelled. The C can be cancelled. I don't need to substitute all the value. Yeah. Save my time. Okay. Just left with what? Ah, the Q naught also can be cancelled. You see that? 
cancel the q the q naught square ah uh, so just left with the 0 0.7165 square uh, just left with uh, z 0 0.7665 square so what's the answer for the fraction yeah square it i got the answer 0 0.51 uh three four ah, zero point five point three four that's a fraction that's the answer or i can say the energy stored energy still remaining at one second is just uh, 51.64 percent of the initial energy uh yeah the, that's the remaining this the remaining uh energy um sorry yeah remaining energy stored in capacitor after or when one second after one second uh, that's the remaining energy stored remaining energy stored in capacitor so the remaining energy stored in capacitor is uh, only 51 percent 51 percent and then the remaining charge is 71 percent understand or 72 percent that's the remaining charge re uh, remaining charge remaining energy uh, this is the this is the remaining uh how to say uh i just want to write down uh wait, wait let me copy this uh and then uh paste it over here uh just that i just want to change remove this this remaining charge ah uh, remaining charge stored ah uh, remaining charge stored in capacitor ah uh, ah uh, understand that's the remaining charge stored in capacitor in one second this is the remaining energy stored in capacitor in the one second this is 71 percent remaining charge 51 percent remaining energy okay so is that correct 0 0.51 0 0.51 that's correct remaining energy stored 0 0.51 the fraction 0 0.0.51 0 0.51 uh, 0 okay that's it i hope you understand see you again bye bye